once your edit's done, so basically you're quite happy with everything, just go up to the top here and then go to timeline and then you want to go create subtitles from audio and you can set the amount of characters you want per line. 42 is pretty good as a default. Uh, language auto, this is where you can set all the different languages. So I'm just going to go for English because mine's in English. Press create and it'll take a few seconds for it to do it. And the speed's going to vary depending on what processor you're using. All right, so it's finished. There's our subtitle track. So if I move my mouse over here and I can click on any of these, and then on the right over in the inspector panel, if you can't see this, just click on the inspector here and you can read the text and you can go through each one. If you need to adjust it, do that in here. And again, you can play around with things like uh, font size and that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, so what you do then is you go up to file, export, and then subtitle, and then just give it a name. I always call it the same as my project and then just press save. And there you go. You've got an SRT file ready to go.